Hi, this is a quick video on using Uber Conference on our computers. The first thing we need to do is know that we have to use the Chrome browser. Uh, you can use the other browsers to set up the call, but you can only do the watching aspect of who's calling and who's not if you use the Chrome browser. So I have the Chrome browser open here. Next, we go and we go to, in the address bar, to mail dot google dot com this is the normal website where you would check your mail in here you put your cam cavasso email address and password and sign in this will bring up your email you may have a different background picture that's in your settings. You can do that as you like. Go up here next to your icon to these little squares. That's the Google Apps. Select that. Go down to the bottom to More and scroll all the way to the bottom to Uber Conference and select Uber Conference, the blue U. Next Uber Conference will load up. First thing to notice up top in this line this is the conference phone number here. That's the phone number. And this is the current PIN. And if you want to invite people to this page, you can also use this URL, which is Uber Conference and your username. That will come up as well. You can send it to people. Now, if you want to send all this information to people through email or texting, you can hit the copy button and it will copy it all under your clipboard. You could then go to some other place like your email here compose a new email and paste it and then that will be in each and every person's email just put one after the other up here everyone you want to invite I'm going to cancel that because I don't actually want to send it to Tim right now go back to our conference so Right now, if you want to start the call, we'll cover scheduling it later. We'll start the call right now. Gives you a choice to use your phone or use the computer. You can always use the phone, but right now we're going to use the computer. It comes up, connection options. It's ringing. Okay, so now I'm online, waiting for others to call. So it says you're alone. You can invite others by email, just like you did before. Optional. There. This is where you can start to record our call. We're going to go ahead and start recording right now. You can see the recording. This mutes everything if you have to say something. Locks out people from coming in once everyone's there and hangs up. Now I'm going to use my phone, my actual phone here, and call in to conference. So on the iPhone, we're dialing 401-283-5207, and then hitting send. Then it will ask you for the PIN, waiting for it to ask. Then typing in the PIN, 32624. Now this PIN is different for every person, and I can change it as well. So now the phone is ringing. There we go. Now you only see one person now because we're on the phone as well. But normally you would see a second person. That's my phone and my computer. So it doesn't show me twice. It's smart enough to only show me once. So if we get done with the recording. You could have another person here that's calling. You could highlight them and hang them up. Right now I'm going to take my own call and hang it up. Hang up my cell phone. Yep. Bingo. And it's gone. the recording 
there now you can see a conference summary that this is the call it was two minutes long first was my computer as me in the Google Plus that's the system for calling and the second was my cell phone that called in just a minute later so that was the two people that were on the call that's the summary I'm gonna close that now that's the basics of what you need now next we're gonna get into something a little more advanced and this pin for security reasons we need to change this every major meeting so to show you that we'll go up underneath our name in the top right hand corner go to settings go into settings and you'll see here the conference numbers here we can't change that because we're using the free version here's the URL that's fine this is hangouts for Google Plus if if someone wants to use that method for now let's just leave it this is the hold music while people are waiting okay depending on what you like the sound of that's kind of your choice let's go with Rick Astley this is the pin this is the pin that I've been using for a couple weeks so I'm gonna go ahead and change it now hit change are you sure yes the old pins gone that's now the pin that's the one that you hand out to everyone now if you use the computer you don't need the organizer pin okay the organizer pin is if you're away from the computer you can set this up you can call into the phone number use this pin and then you're the person in charge and everyone else can still can still call you this is to prearrange a a conference while you're away from the computer and there are if that's going to happen very often there are key codes you can do on your phone to check things hang up on people that kind of stuff but let's ju I'll just show it to you but we probably will never use it okay next to joining allow people to join okay this is a good one place colors on hold until I join that way they or, or you can allow them to join without me the difference of that is do they hear hold music until you're there or are they able to talk to each other before you come uh, there's been times I came in where it was nice to talk to the other people before the conference started so that's fine an automatic recording I highly recommend always recording no matter what set that to always record set your time zone to Hawaii crazy scroll wheel there we go bingo we're gonna display the time zone so we can see who, where people are calling from and what it is now right here is the notifications okay when you're here or when you're on the phone let you know we'll turn that on and basically just notify everything anything that can be turned on turn it on you want to know this is the call summary when you're using the computer version it will give you the call summary this is the phone number that this notifications are sent to and the email that they're sent to so when the calls over you'll get a text and an email okay save the changes at the bottom when you do it okay so here's your account same thing your phone number your password your photo if you want to change your photo which is good hit choose file choose your photo okay contact lists we don't really have to get into that too much we're gonna save changes okay hit back to home now my pictures updated now we just saw the basic way to make a call and we saw how to change the settings so they automatically record now I want to show you how to schedule so instead of starting now you can come in earlier and send invites for later so let's say on the 4th, which we're not going to, but let's say we're gonna, I'm going to have a constant conference call on the 4th at our normal 9, 9 a.m. Okay, 9 a.m. And it's going to be definitely more than 60 minutes. So let's go with uh, 120. Let's be optimistic and uh, the recurring we can't really do because that's a pro feature but don't worry about it we don't need it now the next step is you add a list of email addresses or phone numbers for texting 
So you just add those and hit complete. I'm just going to add myself. Okay, so that's one. And I can also add and tab. Just hit a tab after each one. I'm going to hit complete. And we're going to send the invites to the calendar. This is my Google Calendar. Hit OK. Now it's on my Google Calendar to remind me. And those people have got um, notices. Like here, here's my email. Untitled event right here. For conference, here's the information on who to join. Event color for the calendar. Let's make it red. It's important. And a pop-up will remind me 10 minutes before. Okay, that's setting up the calendar. And save. Okay. There we go. So, there's the calendar. Very good. Now, uh, I am technically right now just going to delete that. We'll do that later. Okay. That looks good. Uh, let's go back to Uber Conference. In review. Go to the bottom. Uber Conference. We just show, I just showed you how to schedule. Remember, when you first come, you can start. Or again, here's the phone number with that new pin we generated. And the address, ready to go. And it's all good. Okay, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, just remember, for security reasons, we're going to be changing that all the time. And sending them out before so uh, just before the meeting probably uh, everyone was going to have to check their email or texting to uh, see what the pin is for that meeting we'll just make sure to send it all out okay thank you